Hey guys, this is Rainer 1903 and I'm back from Vanguard Nationals. This is the, Euro the European qualifier for the UK and I managed to make the top 8 with my Oracle th think tanks and I was just going to give you a quick deck list in this video and then probably some hints and tips in another video and then a tournament report in another one just to try and spread it out just because I'm still quite tired from the weekend seeing as I was driving as well six and bit hour drive wasn't fun, but hey ho. Right, I'll go ahead with the deck list. Right, got the starter is uh, God Hawk Ichibiyoshi, which is the Tsukiyomi starter. So I wasn't running Solus. I did have a look at Solus, and I felt that it doesn't actually do anything. It it stopped a lot of the... At the moment, it stops a lot of the stuff you want to do with articles. So I just find that this just got a, that, and it's just a little bit more consistent because you get to check, check, check top five. So I've got that. Uh, then running 8 crit, just because I was running 6 and 6, I felt that you don't really need to draw, and I wanted to be a bit more aggressive with the deck, and I think that's helped in the end, because a Tom with 2 crit is always going to be quite difficult to guard against. Uh, 2 medical kid, as draw triggers, and 2 victory maker, just running 2 different ones, because there was a couple of games where people saw the different ones, and assumed that I was using them to check the stack but in all honesty I've not actually counted the stack at all the entire day I've just played by ear and just gone gone with it I know that I've stacked triggers together but if I don't hit them I don't hit them if I do I do it doesn't really matter but I've split them up cause it, put, it, it, put, it puts people off i found and run four heal for the tournament I was running four Lozenji but I managed to pick up four spheres so I'm running two and two now until the trial deck comes out, so I can run one, 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 one. Uh, grid ones, we've got four Gemini. Uh, it's I can't understand why people wouldn't run four of this. Absolutely crazy in this deck. Makes Tom sixteen, and at the moment that's really good. Until we get cross rides, it's perfectly sufficient. Which we not. I'm going to be able to be fine with this until uh, February next year, I think it is. Then we've got four of the grade one Sukiyomi. It's standard and it puts Tom to 15, which is still decent enough. Then we've got four perfect guards. You draw so much and you have so much card advantage that you can get away with running four of these without actually losing any card advantage. So it's always a. I think you should probably be running four in everything, but if you're ever thinking about dropping it, it's not in this deck. You have to run four. I'm running. This is one of the new additions to the deck. I'm playing two Weather Girl Milk. I found that having a Tsukiyomi hit 21 was worth more than using the Battle Sister Kokua to check the top card and put it on the top of the bottom. So that, that was the two, two cards I swapped for these. I felt that hitting the 21 was me meaning they had to guard the extra 5k for the Vanguard attack, which meant that they've got less stuff to guard the Toms. And I think that 5k has made a difference in a few matches. So I really enjoy, really liked using that. It's won me several games on the day. Uh, I've got four of the Grade Two Sukiyomi, and this is such a good card. I don't know again. I don't know why people wouldn't run run them. Uh, Oracle Guardian Red Eye. It's the Soul Charger when its attack hits. So basically, it helps you get to the six soul you need for Full Moon. It pressurizes them to guarding stuff they really, really don't want to. I found that. It means they guard early with stuff that they don't want to, so it means you can means they've got less to guard late game when you're going for your big plays and you've already got the card advantage, so it's a really good card. It stop, stops them wanting to do it early on, and then you tend to just have the psychic bird anyway and chuck it in the soul, and then they're just like, oh, I've guarded with nothing, guarded for nothing. So there's four of those, and then four Tom. Tom's one of the most silly cards in the game. There's nothing more to be said about Tom, it's just Tom. It's crazy. Um, got four full moon. Full moon's ridiculous. It's absolutely crazy. So often on the day, I found that I was going up against 10k vanguards, and I could just stick a 10k shield down, and it was perfect guarding it, which is absolutely crazy. It shouldn't it shouldn't be allowed to do that. If it was a 10k vanguard, it'd be fine, but 11k, it's absolutely brilliant, and its ability is ridiculous anyway. If it was to be released now, I reckon it would have been a limit break, rather than just a counter blast. I think that it came out at the right time for it to not be, which it's a really, really good card. I found it 
even if I didn't ride this, it still wasn't the end of the game because of running three CEO, which I saw a build that the build that topped Australian Nats and wasn't running CEOs, and I was a bit confused because I mean CEO is 14k by itself nine times out of ten. With a milk behind it, it could be hitting 24. With a crescent moon or a Gemini, it's going to hit 21 plus. So it means they're going to have to guard with more. And its ability is silly anyway. I mean, occasionally I've used its ability and checked the top card and kept it there, even though I know it was nothing, just to make put the fear into them when they're on 5 damage. When they see you put the top card on the deck, they're going to overguard the first attack because they don't want anything to happen. And then they're going to worry about the Tom later. They'll think, I've got enough to guard the Tom. And I can just worry about the other rear guard after that. But you can you can du double bluff your way into some situations. I did that a couple of times on the day when I had to ride this. So that's all I'm going to do for this video. I'll upload this. I know there's a couple of other guys that have done, that have done deck profiles of this deck with me. So it's not going to be an original video. There will be more of this one. But I'm just going to upload it anyway, but I'll have uh, hints and tips for articles and a tournament report uploaded within the next couple of days. So keep an eye out for that, and if you've got any questions or anything, just feel free to ask. This is Rainer1903, and I've just top-aided UK, uh, UK Vanguard Nats. Cheers for watching.